A lot of us as business owners, we're getting really nervous, honestly. Molly Wellman's bar, Japs, has been known for character and flair as a storefront and over the Rhine since 1879. Preserving the experience is really important, but, you know, Japs especially, and in other places, they're created to be a gathering place. COVID-19 means a different formula for bartending, cleaning, paying, and where people can mingle. Getting people in the door is challenging. There's a lot of people who just can't come out, and we understand that. Um, but there's a lot of people who are just afraid because there's really no guidelines that are put out like, here's what you should look for when you go to a place. Doors down, a late night staple on Main Street, Lucy Blue Pizza, is empty. The owner says COVID-19 slowed business, leading to late rent, and the Paycheck Protection Program was sluggish. He's now in search of a new space. According to data from the second quarter Yelp Economic Average report from March 1st through July 10th, the Cincinnati metro area saw 752 businesses close. The data shows 341 of those closures were permanent. In comparison, Yelp's data shows in that same time frame, the Columbus metro area had 713 business closures with 399 permanently closed. While Wellman has merged style with safety and sanitation, there's a real concern about how long small businesses can hold on. We are doing everything in our power to make sure you are safe. The only thing we need for you is to come show up in your mask and let us do the rest. So Yelp's data also shows that nationally temporary business closures are decreasing. However, permanent business closures are increasing. That's according to the data that we got from that report. The bottom line here, the business owners we talked with say, take the proper pre precautions, but come out and support them. Because if you don't, when this is all said and done, they may not be here. We're live and over the Rhine. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. All right.